Good morning. We are at this nice pool here uh, where I'm currently living. Uh, but we're not going for a swim. Let me take you somewhere else. Alright, we're down. Uh, this is the place where I live. We have this. We will be trying these e-scooters by Beam to go around where it would allow us to to go right let's see how to use this okay let's go to the B map let's zoom into where I am right now uh, it says here we have four beam scooters uh, in this area no thanks I mean it's okay so it's just park in visible areas find free parking uh, it's okay so first thing we do is okay, is this looking good um, we'll try to look for a better one okay so let's scan the QR code yeah so after you scan the QR code Okay, so we're gonna kick the kickstand. Okay, that's the lights on. See, I'm already charged for tendering it. I'll explain about that later on. About the charge. But we should be going. Um, how to turn off the lights? I don't really know how to turn off the lights. Uh, maybe it's better that the lights is on. So it's easy to use this. You just ride and then push, push this lever here. Sorry, it's gonna be bumpy. Yeah, it's gonna be bumpy. Right, we're ready. Let's go. So this one is running at 16 kilometers per hour. With these e-scooters, you're not supposed to um, use the main roads. Right, we'll stop here. So we could cross. You just have to be patient for all the cars and the vehicles to stop and then we can go. Just like that. sidewalk Try if I can go up Oh 
Another scooters. Another set of scooters there. So you'll have to twist this circle here for the for the bell. So this is the train station, Tamanjaya train station. Okay, let's go somewhere. We still have three bars left with our battery, so it should be okay. Oh, this building is... I love these buildings here in PJ. It's so it looks uh, wonderful.
just stop here for a while trip time wow that's a 32 minutes okay let's end the trip if you park here you will be charged for parking free so it's not a parking area um, where is the parking area i think it's there okay we'll park there we cannot end the trip there or else we'll get charged We'll park there and then we'll, let's have a walk Right, that's 21 ring. So that's what we paid for 34 minutes. That's 21 ring. Right at this park, you can see that there's three parking areas. Yeah, three parking areas. There's one there. We'll be going there. Um, I'll get my other beam scooter going back home. I'll get it from there. There are seven, seven scooters there. And then that way where I parked, there were five. So we'll see. Here are my thoughts on the e-scooter by Beam. Two things. So this scooter could be used for recreational purposes. Like, like the best, the best way to use it is in a park like this where you can just roam around uh, instead of just your normal running or walking you could still you could still use it to um, to just to have fun and ride with it so the second application that I think it would also be useful is for transportation what BIM did was strategically put parking areas for the beams to be parked on like uh, public transport and public places like bus stops train station uh, in such a way that if you want to go from one bus stop to another or from train station to uh, to your area beam to transport from that very short period of time without waiting for grab or without flagging taxi right so if you were from the train station there, you can go here, a ride, uh, you can ride beam scooter, and then go here. Uh, here's another bus stop, and that's an This is best for tourists. Um, if you want to explore the area, then uh, you'll have a best chance of, of seeing it. Um, just make sure that you're following um, the rules, meaning, these scooters are not allowed to be running on the main roads so it has to be running on on the pathways or or bike lanes so just remember that um there's one negative thing i could think of while riding it uh, if you're riding it for a long time it's gonna hurt uh, because it doesn't have a suspension it really hurts when you go to bumpy areas but I don't know, maybe they can, uh, there's some kind of um, an enhancement in the future uh, that could allow it to be much better when it times of handling rough areas. All right, let's look for other e-scooters we can, we can use to ride home. When you scan the barcode and start using the app with the beam scooter, you will be charged with a 10 ringgit hold un until the entire uh, duration of the ride. 
Then the tendering gear will be refunded once you complete the ride but be sure to park it on the designated parking area. So as you can see we are at the parking, it's a parking space, so we can actually be sure that the beam so that it doesn't obstruct any paths, yes, okay we take a picture, you hear that beep, we take a picture of it, alright that's 12 ringgit. Okay, I'm charged. Okay, so I'm heading home. I hope this video has provided value to you. If it does, please don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel. I'll be definitely making more of this kind of videos. Thank you guys for watching and see you in the next one. Bye-bye.